Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh. Thou shalt not steal. Exodus 2.15 On the face of things, that sounds pretty simple, but it requires us first to know what it means to steal. The Catechism has something to say about the boundaries of this commandment. The seventh commandment forbids unjustly taking or keeping the goods of one's neighbor and wronging him in any way with respect to his goods. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2401, first sentence. In other words, stealing isn't just actually taking something from someone, but keeping it once you have it, particularly when doing so wrongs them in some manner. For example, say that someone stole a loaf of bread from a poor person and passed it off to you. If they come to you wanting it back, you should give it to them. Otherwise, you violated the Seventh Commandment by withholding from them what's theirs. However, the implications of the Seventh Commandment go even further than that, once you realize what's meant by his goods. In the beginning, God entrusted the earth and its resources to the common stewardship of mankind, to take care of them, master them by labor, and enjoy their fruits. The goods of creation are destined for the whole human race. However, the earth is divided up among men to ensure the security of their lives, endangered by poverty and threatened by violence. The appropriation of property is legitimate for guaranteeing the freedom and dignity of persons, and for helping each of them to meet his basic needs and the needs of those in his charge. It should allow for a natural solidarity to develop between men. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2402. In other words, if anyone needs goods to assure security for their lives, endangered by poverty and so forth, and we deliberately withhold those goods, we're in violation of the Seventh Commandment. This is because all goods belong, ultimately, to God anyway, and he intended for them to be used by mankind for the sake of the common good, not just selfishly by each person in pursuit of their own satisfaction. In other words, people have a moral obligation to give generously to those who are in need, and this doesn't just mean giving physical things, but time, training, and proper information, things of that nature, if the person needs them. Some might say that this contradicts the whole idea of private property, but the Catechism says different. The right to private property, acquired or received in a just way, does not do away with the original gift of the earth to the whole of mankind. The universal destination of goods remains primordial, even if the promotion of the common good requires respect for the right to private property and its exercise. In his use of things, man should regard the external goods he legitimately owns not merely as exclusive to himself, but common to others also, in the sense that they can benefit others as well as himself. The ownership of any property makes its holder a steward of providence, with the task of making it fruitful and communicating its benefits to others, first of all his family. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraphs 2403 and 2404. In other words, ownership of private property is still valid, even though we have an obligation to use that property for the good of others, and not just ourselves. So in conclusion, we have an obligation to respect the private property of others, but also to use our own property generously to help supply the needs of our fellow man, because that's what God intended from the very beginning. Next time, what's theft? Is theft always against the Seventh Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.